Hi folks, for this little adventure I'm heading to Shumit Camp and do some landscape photography at the summit of Bendorain, which is one of the Bridge of Orkey Monroes. It's a hill that I've not summited before, so I was really looking forward to this trip. Uh, weather conditions started off perfect. It was Good Friday, a uh, nice sunny day, had the shades on, sun cream was on, <laughs> and the wind decided to change direction during the night which wasn't the forecast, and my tent nearly blew away. <laughs> Snap tent poles, you name it. It was a long night, but I've still got some lovely sunset images and a few nice sunrise images. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into the video. These are not your shoes, Harris, right? Yeah. Harris. You too big. You see that on? Yeah. You got a good boy for mummy? Yeah. You know you've got your sunglasses on upside down? <laughs> Love you. Love you. A day, absolutely glorious. I'm heading up to do some landscape photography and a wild camp at the top of Bendorain, one of the Monroes that just sits at the side of Bridge of Orkey. Things are looking good, pretty windy. I've got my tent, uh, but I've also got my bivy bag in case it's too windy to pitch the tent. I'm just approaching the quarry, uh, I'm going up, walking up the quarry, zigzags up to the Bulach, and I'm taking a right, and then the, the real climbing starts. Up to the false summit of Benderain, or the Englishman's summit, as it's also known as. <laughs> um, and then across the ridge to the, the actual summit. But man, absolutely awesome. Hats on, sun cream's on. First time the shades have been on this year as well. Absolutely awesome. Cannot beat it. <laughs> Well, I'm just south of the summit, the true summit. What a view, absolutely spectacular. Very hazy, quite a lot of high cloud about, which could be good for sunset. Still so got another two hours till sunset, but I'm going to head back down towards the Bulach, um, where I get a phone signal. I need to make sure I've got a phone signal because I'm on call at work. <laughs> um, yeah, I've got a few hours to mess about. I'm going to go down and find a nice flat bit. I spotted a few areas in, on the way up that look suitable for a pitch. I remembered actually en route here today on, from my last trip that my tent pole had snapped. I actually meant to order a new one from Van Gogh but totally forgot. But luckily I remembered en route. <laughs> I bought some electrical tape. Hopefully this does the trick and hopefully the wind doesn't pick up. <laughs> but it'll fold in. That's the tent up. <coughs> this is my sleeping system. It's got a four season sleeping bag. 
just a, a basic sleeping bag from Go Outdoors. It's not anything special. I think it's their their own brand, OEX or whatever it is. <laughs> um, you know, I've had it for a few years and it's very, very warm. I've got a Neo light air mat, which is pretty comfy and well insulated. And I've put down my bivvy bag as well, which is just a bit more insulation from the ground. Anyway, I'm going to get something to eat and a coffee on and get some more clothes on, it's starting to cool down. on nine o'clock the sun has set and it was absolutely stunning perfect gap on the horizon lot up all the clouds can't ask for anything better I think I got a few nice shots um, a few selfies me looking out towards the sunset we'll see how those ones turn out I got a nice strong composition with some nice leading lines of rocks leading you right down a wee path as well on the left leading you, leading you right out to the sunset it was it was awesome and above me it's starting to clear up, so hopefully we're going to get some stars as well, got my fingers crossed. That would just top it off, <laughs> and then a sunrise tomorrow, we'll see. Wind's picking up again, you can probably hear it on the mic here, and the camera's blowing about. Hopefully my wee tent holds up, it's on its last legs I think. It's getting a bit chillier, I'm going to get a coffee, and a bite to eat. And then I'm going to get inside the tent, and I've got a best man speech to learn. <laughs> For two weeks time I'm the best man at my brother's wedding. What better place to clear your mind and try and practice and learn it? Top of a Monroe. <laughs> Brilliant. As that lovely piece of chilled out and soothing music fades, it kind of resembles the first hour sleep that I had and the fact that the shelter from the wind faded and the wind changed direction and my tent nearly got blown away during the night it was a pretty restless night to say the least I was up during the night readjusting guy ropes and putting pegs back in that had been blown out I decided to document near enough every hour during the night where I checked my phone to see the time and I was just basically sitting waiting it out till morning I forgot to take my earplugs, which was a schoolboy error, so I couldn't get to sleep with the racket that the wind was making. Um, I still managed to drag myself out of bed in the morning, it was a spectacular sunrise, and I got some lovely shots, which I'll show you now. There's midnight. After about an hour's sleep, I just cannot get back to sleep with this racket. The wind is getting worse and worse. I thought of getting up out of this nice warm sleeping bag. <laughs> Venturing out in the cold again is not appealing at all. I'm wide awake. Can't sleep at all. Forgot my earplugs as well. Schoolboy error. Half past two in the morning, and the wind's picked up again. It's probably the strongest it's been all night. Don't really feel that safe in the tent anymore. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, good morning, folks. As you can see, it's very, very windy. It's pretty wild outside. I've been over photographing the sunrise, which went pretty well. It was some nice colour in the sky. Got a nice few images, I'm sure, but a bit rushed just due to the weather. Uh, not really feeling it at all because of the high winds. Anyway, I'm going to get moving, get this tent down before it blows away. Well, that concludes this trip, and I hope you've enjoyed watching it. For my next adventure, I'm heading back up to the northwest of Scotland to Summit Camp on Stack Polly and Summit Camp on Sylvain the following night, which I'm thoroughly looking forward to. I've not actually been on the trip yet, so I can't plug it in this video. <laughs> As this video has been published, I'm going the following day. Once again, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. Feel free to like, subscribe, critique, all that bumf, and I'll catch you on my next trip. Cheers.